Okay, we're here with Warren uh, before our, our Preston game. You, you couldn't really get two more contrasting feelings after the last two games in terms of the dressing room, could you? No, uh, highs and lows, you know, similar times of the games, but obviously massive highs and, and lows. But you've got to be sit back and be consistent, you know, and how you view the games as quickly as you can, really, because you can't be too high and you can't be too low. You've got to take every game as a cup final between now and the end of the season and try and win every single game. But it must have been difficult to lift the players after Fulham, such a, a blow kicking the teeth in the last seconds. But obviously yeah, it, it was really. You could see one or two, you know, sometimes who motivates the motivators and the, some of the older ones were flat as well because everybody's desperate to do well. Um, you know, and achieve our objective this this season. So you could see some of them were down, and you you were saying, look, the young ones might have to come up to the plate and motivate. You can't rely on the older ones to be the leaders all the time. You know, we're a team, and and you've got to be like that. And it could be any one of you that comes and leads us off really tonight. And it was one of the older ones again late on that, that gets us the three points. But I thought it was a good team performance. But also, you talk about consistency, yeah, but. In terms of tactics, that was two very different kind of games and how we approached each of those games of Fulham and Wolves. Um, yeah, but you know, completely different problems that the opposition has actually as well and, and different ways to hurt them. You know, I think Fulham probably as good a passing side as, as we've played this season. You know, they, they really passed the ball around well and, and again we've contained them, limited them to a few opportunities and had definitely the best four or five clear cut chances of, of the match and could have had the game out of sight really. You know, a different game the other night, we set our stall out to do things differently. Um, you know, and end up getting the three points. And you've got some real choices now. You've brought players into the squad that you've that have just come into the club, like Omar and Obertan and you know James Weir, all that. You've you've got some choices now which must be fantastic from your point of view to have that those options. Well they're all desperate to play. All them lads are chomping a bit desperate to play and they're the lads who've done well over a period you know, they know they've got people there to help them, you know, achieve what they want to do. So I think that's vital for the group, really, you know, that everybody wants to pull the same way. There's competition for places, people are desperate to play, people to be frustrated if they weren't playing, you know, but they're all training hard. We've had a, a good training ground game yesterday where it gets people more minutes and gets them nearer the first team and, and nearer the proper best fitness, so that, that adds to the, the quality of the group again. And moving on to Preston this weekend, it's a, it's a big derby from a, a, a Lancashire point of view. Obviously you know about it as a player, you've played for Preston, you've had five great years there. Now you're on the opposite dugout, you've got best friends in the, in the away dugout, you've got a former opponent in Graham Barrow as a player who's now next to you in the dugout. It's, it's one of those real Lancashire hot pot occasions, isn't it? I think it is, I mean, I, obviously I've played for a few, and been involved with a few Lancashire clubs and you know, there's a tremendous amount of passion for football in this area and and you you know how passionate all fans are, you know, now we're on the side of the Wigan side and we're desperate to get one over on, on Preston and desperate for the fans here who've been tremendous for the players that, you know, we get a good performance and a good win for them. And what sort of challenge do, do Preston pose us then? Uh, well, they're well organised, the discipline, they, they, they've got a steady group, haven't they? They've, They've bought well over a period of time now. You know they've brought a lot of players in over a period of time who know that they can do well at this level and, and spent the money wisely. I think so. I think they've got a consistency. They've got a solid base. But again, everybody in the league have got good players, and there's nothing for us to fear. You know we've got out and do our things, stop them and do our things, and and set our stall out to win the game. And our supporters have got a real role to play. There's going to be a big atmosphere there at the DW on Saturday. Yeah, I think they've been, you know, great so far. Obviously, we've we've got to give them some of the shout about. They've been patient because we've not got things all the way we want them in the home games, particularly. You know, we've had better results away from home. Um, we've got to set our stall out to make this a real cauldron now, from now to the end of the season, and almost suck the ball in the back of the net. You know, I think there's been plenty of effort gone in from the players. There's been a good degree of quality as well. We've just not finished teams off. You know, and score the goals we would have liked. Look, that's got to be our objective between now and the end of the season. The final message to the fans: come along, make some noise, get behind the lads. Yeah, I think they've done that, but you know, it's certainly appreciative to the players that the atmosphere. You know, it's certainly a, a, an extra player for us. 
you know, if we can make it a horrible place for, for Preston to come at the weekend, you know, and, and obviously we've got to perform well and give the fans so much shout about, but, you know, they they definitely can be a big help for us between now and the end of the season.